All right, this is going to be fun. Revelation chapter 1, please. Revelation chapter 1. Satan, it's really interesting how much he wants to become God, right? He always strived and tried to become this. God Almighty, the great I am that I am. Satan really tries, but then, you know what? He can never do it. He can never do it. But he's always trying all he can. But what we're going to find out is what's very interesting. There is one thing Satan definitely uses quite often, and that's his nature, which is so interesting, where it is almost like God himself. And I'm going to show you what it is. You know what the key thing is? It's technology. We'll also put right here electricity. Satan, he is, there is no doubt he is connected with electricity in a lot of things. And I showed you in other videos about that. He is known as the prince of the power of the air. He is also known as, I beheld Satan as lightning fallen from heaven. So there's no doubt there's, he's connected with electricity and a lot of things. But you'll find out it is so interesting how it's so close. The first thing, what we can notice, our God, he is Alpha and Omega. Amen? So that means from the beginning of the letter to the end of the letter. And what does Google do? It goes from the letter A all the way through Z. Whatever letter you type, boom, it's right there. But God proclaimed, I'm Alpha and Omega. We see how Google gets a little bit of this. Look at Revelation chapter 1. And notice what God calls himself, that he is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. We'll notice right here in verse 17, And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not. I am the first and the last. And he literally means that from A to Z. Because look at verse 11. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. But what covers from A to Z is Google. I mean, look at the technology what Satan's using in our world today. All these big companies right here became big and rich, powerful. And Satan, guess what? That's why he, the closest he can ever get to God is through technology. Technology, it is amazing how much mankind is so dependent on technology because it has such power where it gets closer to the levels of godhood where we can live. Let's also look at some interesting cases right here. Look at Genesis chapter 11. Genesis chapter 11. There are three main attributes of God that he is famously known for. Our God, what is he famously known for in three cases? You ever heard this line before? He is omniscience. Why is he omniscient? Because it means he's all-knowing. But what does technology do? It wants to know. It wants to know. A lot of you people want to know more. That's why you're watching stuff at YouTube. You're curious about a certain topic, you go to Google. You depend on it. You type it out. Facebook, it shows a lot of things. Twitter shows a lot of things. And then all-knowing, omniscient. It is so omniscient. It's the closest way to reach God, see? Mankind getting closer and closer to this. Another thing God is known for is omnipresence. Omnipresence. Why? It means he's all present. He's everywhere. You can't hide from God. He is everywhere. And guess what? Google has your location. And guess what? Facebook has all your information about you where we know about you. Twitter shows everything about you where we know about you. Every information. Why? Because 
God is everywhere. He is present everywhere. And man tries to get closer and closer to that. And they, you, and Satan, he can get closer to it because he is technology. He is electricity itself. Let's also look at another one right here. Another thing is omnipotence, right? Omnipotence. Okay, let's look at omnipotence. Omnipotence is known as all-powerful. 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 And guess what? Technology, what do we depend upon? Oh my goodness, we always depend upon technology for power. We always do that. That's why through technology we can create such fascinating and horrifying weapons. We can create nuclear weapons. We can, uh, the simple machine, uh, the technology, cyber, you know, there's cyber terrorism. There's all this kind of stuff where people can also hack into sites and websites to bring out means, biological warfare through technology itself as well. I mean, it's very scary in our day and age. And it's all th technology. It's getting closer and closer to power, to power. Satan's best usage to get closer to God is through technology. That's why mankind thinks they don't need God. They can handle themselves. You know why? They got such means, technology. See, that's the point of the lesson. See, That's the point of man abusing something where they think that they don't need God anymore and they're closer to God. And Satan use technology is the closest thing you can reach to God that Satan will use. Look at Genesis chapter 11. What did God think about man's invention that would reach up to heaven? Isaiah 14, what did Satan said? I will exalt myself above the heights of the cloud, on the sides of the north, above the stars. Satan always wants to go up, right? Because he wants to be like God. So he always wants to go up. And guess what? Mankind did the same thing. They tried to go up. Look at Genesis chapter 11. Look at verse 4. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And that's why the Lord, at verse 8, he scattered them. He didn't like that. Because they're trying to be like God. See that? God don't like it. God don't like it when mankind raises up their pride level and they try to be like Him. But guess what? Mankind tries to do that. And that's why we have things right here. See? They try to have satellites. They try to have space programs. They... They try to reach to the moon. They try to look through our whole world through satellites. Keep an eye on you, where you're at. Go above. Let's inhabit Mars. They try to do that. Try to create some sort of civilization to live on Mars, etc. And you know, I'm very skeptical with what they say too. So you can't believe everything that you hear. You don't know how much of it is true and false. But it's so interesting how mankind, they would try to go up and go up and go up. See, and Satan, how is that done? Through technology. Through technology, you can go high. You can go up. And Satan, there's no doubt, he uses this means to try to battle God. But here's another interesting thing about this, is that this, the satellite <laughs> where you can see everything, right? Or you tap the phones where you can hear everything through such technology. The all-seeing eye. And do you see that in the back of your dollar bill? And who is that eye? That's the devil, right? And that's a famous conspiracy statement concerning the Illuminati, that all-seeing eye on the back on top of the pyramid. That's the devil. Why? Because he wants to be the all-seeing eye, omnipresence everywhere. I'm watching you. I'm looking at you. And the closest mean through technology is something like this that the devil will use. But not only that, you also see where our day and age, these intelligence agencies, what? They tap through the phones, they see everything through the internet. 
or to what they hear through the phones or through satellite or etc 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 but you know what's so interesting about these intelligence agencies who try to do what use those means of seeing and hearing everything omni omni closer to God and using such technology to know everything about you you know what's so interesting when you go to the root and the master of it all so obviously the most uh, one of the most famous ones in this trying to go up 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 the NSA now here's the thing is that I'm not gonna mention the person's name but if you try to study inside uh, intelligence agencies, and we had, one, we had one person in our church doing that as well, and I asked the person just out of curiosity, uh, what's the number one religion over there then, you know, at the NSA? And you know what he said? Freemasons. Freemasons. And he even said occult. Occult. No brainer right there. And who is the god of Freemasonry according to... Albert Pike, who's one of the most respected leaders of masonry, Lucifer. Interesting. Another intelligence agency, FBI. You know the founder, J. Edgar Hoover? Mason. Mason. Ah, birds of a feather flock together. Satan, he always wants to put anything of himself in anywhere. Where mankind claim that they went on the moon and then they showed this Masonic symbol through their flags and everything. See that Satan? He wants to show off to the whole world. Look at me. I am God. I took this over. CIA, the founder, William Donovan, Catholic Knights of Malta. Catholic Knights of Malta. And guess what? If you look at the Jesuit oath of the Catholic Church, and the Masonic Oath, they're very similar with each other. And it's a Jesuit who wrote the Masonic Oath for you. And guess, and guess what? Who's the uh, who is the light that the Masonic Oath claimed that they're going to? Albert Pike told you it's Lucifer. So the same God of the Masonic Oath is connected to that Jesuit Oath. See, Satan, his point is this. He wants to put his fingerprint in anywhere. He wants to put his fingerprint in anywhere. So obviously I'm not saying through all this that technology is evil, you shouldn't use this. The point is that Satan, he wants to use any innocent means, see that, to put his fingerprint on it so that he can get closer to God. That's the thing. You got to realize this, he can even use something holy to put his fingerprint on it to corrupt it. He can use the holy thing, he can use the holy Bible, put his fingerprint on it, and then, cor and then what? Corrupt with modern versions, see? So that's the point of this whole thing. Here's another thing right here is look at Revelation 13. So let's close this interesting study with Revelation 13. Technology is used to worship the Antichrist. Didn't you know that? Didn't you know technology will be used to worship the one world, the new world, king and leader of the world, the god of masonry, the god of this world, the god of Catholicism, the god of all world systems. Look at Revelation 13. Now look at this. <clears throat> Verse 3, And I saw one of his heads, that's the beast, that's the Antichrist, as it were wound, wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And notice what? all the world wondered after the beast now here's a question how can all the world wonder and see this antichrist getting healed how can all how can you cram all the nations around the world to see this one man there's only one way you can do it to see that dun, 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 dun. amazon we have a television show right here netflix we have a television show right here TV, 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 and then you go satellite, and then you got YouTube to show the clips. You got Twitter and Facebook who'll post it out. 
and Google is filled with all this information. Here's the Antichrist right here. Twitter is filled out. Look at the Antichrist right here and all that. Here's God. This is God. This is Jesus. Look at him resurrected. And all the world wondered after the beast. And they worship him because look at verse 4. And they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? There is no doubt. Satan uses technology to reach godhood. And he, and he does, and he does accomplish that, the tribulation. You all worship me.